Welcome, gentle bots, to another episode of SteamWorld Heist. Let's rid the colony of scrappers and stop this brutal crusher, ma'am. Alright, so let's continue the adventure here. Let's see what's down here. Uh, which one do I want to go with? I guess let's start with this one. Explosives transport. This ship is filled to the brim with stolen explosives. It's more or less a flying bomb. Can't have that floating about the colony. Handle the crazy scrapper crew and get out. So this is a two-person job, and I'm actually going to take... Um, I'm going to take Sally instead of Seabrass because Seabrass is close range, and since there's going to be a lot of explosives, I kind of want to do things from further away. So let's take Sally, and I guess let's put this vest on her as well. And Let's see what else I can put here. I think we're good. I think we're good. But let me change her hat. She's going to be my official fashion model. So let's try out the new hat I got in the last episode. The beret. Okay. And let's start the mission. Yeah, she looks kind of cool. The beret, man. I'm digging it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay, they weren't kidding about having explosives everywhere. I can't really aim this too well, I'm gonna be honest. I think maybe I might be able to get that barrel. Oh no. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Okay. But at least I cleared the path for Sally. And now she can just shoot down this way and hopefully kill him. It's hard to aim when it's like off screen and you have to like adjust and then look back. There we go. And now you will get to see her kill shot in action. Alright, never mind. Um uh, guess let me just move all the way up and then just blast this guy in the face. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff above me that I might want to check out. Let's see. Nothing too exciting here. Uh, I do want to grab this swag. And then Sally as well needs to grab this one. Yeah, let's see what we're going to be dealing with here. It's got like a sniper down there. He is not next to an explosive. See, like it's super hard to aim when they're off screen. It's probably not going to hit him, but if I aim further up, he's just going to hit that barrel in front of me. And I think I actually managed to shoot his head off at least, which is cool. I don't know. I'll take it. Let me move Sally all the way down here. So I can have more angles to work with. Damn, dude. That guy is sniping. Let me move down here and maybe take the kill shots. Do forget that I have my grenade as well. But I'm trying to save it for now. Oh no, I forgot to grab the uh, the swag. That's okay. I'll have a uh, I'll have Piper pick that up in a second. I do want to come down here. Okay, there's a ton of guys down there. Let me see if I can shoot straight down. That's not going to catch anything. That might hit the barrel. Didn't think it would. Ugh. Okay. Let's see. Let me move over here. Because I don't think if I melee him, that's not going to be enough damage to kill him. But my weapon should be able to blast him off into outer space. Okay. And then Sally. Let's go ahead and do this.
And... Wow, really? That didn't kill him? What a joke. Okay, so before I forget, I'm gonna send Piper up here to grab the swag bag. And then, let me see. In fact, I'll just stay where I am and I'll just... Am I too close? I might get damaged. Let me move back here. And then shoot all of those. So I got my kill shots. And I can continue shooting, I guess. I don't know, let's blow up some barrels for fun. Okay, let me move Piper back down. I guess, in fact, we're pretty much ready to go, it looks like, just through this last door here. I thought there was a hat that I blew off and could have picked up. I don't see it, though. Not too worried about it. Alright, last enemy here. And boom. Easy as that. Ready to evacuate. Quite a little dangerous mission with all these explosives, honestly. Oh, man. I meant to go twice to the right, not once like I did. Oh, well. Not that big of a deal. And there we go. That's the end of the mission. Dude, Sally has some really fat thighs, if you've noticed. See what kind of goodies we got. Another grenade, okay, I can put that on another one of my characters. And a tier 2 rusty heavy armor, but it decreases the sprint distance. Eh. Inventory's full, so let's sell some junk, I guess. Let me sell this carry on pistol since I already have one. And let's continue, I guess. Perfect. New ability. Inspire. Piper inspires allies next to her, which makes them deal plus one bonus damage. As long as at least one ally is inspired, Piper is also inspired. Alright, so we're back to the main ship after a successful mission. Continue to talk to some of the crew here, see what they gotta say. So, that was Lola's? Can't say I'm impressed by its veneer gear. Now now, no need to ride this high steam horse. We'll help out this crusher and get helped in return. Right, I'm just saying that we've heard so much about the colony that this know-it-all bartender... And see what Sally has to say. I can handle myself, you'll see. Okay. Finally, let's talk to Wonky. Sorry for dragging into these fights, Wonky. We've been through tough times before, ma'am. Yes, but I'm getting thoroughly tired of weathering them. I'm sick of being on the run. We haven't been a lawful enterprise for a long time now, ma'am. Okay, so next up... I mean, there's a lot of different places we can go to. In fact, have we been up here? To the Smoking Barrel? The charismatic gentle bot running the Smoking Barrel franchise is always pleased to charm and arm cautious cowbots with rifles, pistols, and automatics. Let's see what he's got for us. Just kind of exploring a little bit. Some consider me old fashioned, but Papa Big Gear taught me to serve people what they need, man. Carry on pistol. Frontier Shorty. Eh. 
short round. A concealed carry that is that has improved sight. Okay, don't care. Oh, that's actually pretty good. A Frontier SMG. That's not bad. A basic and handy rapid assault gun, perfect for mobile raids and looting in a hurry. It's expensive though, it's 800 bucks. Look at this bad boy, the Big Bang. Damn. It's safe to say that the world would have wouldn't have been the same without it. Relatively speaking, it expands on you. There's a lot of cool stuff here. I can't really afford any of it. I might come back and buy something later. Might actually use my money to recruit another crew member, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that yet. Um Let's go this way, I guess. Let's go do that other mission down here. This is the cargo barge. The rumored safety of the mining colony is marred by this huge cargo barge. Crusher class scrappers protect the gallons in its cavernous hull. Make sure to bring some long ranged weaponry. So maybe I should go back and recruit that sniper, Mr. Valentine. And then we'll go tackle that mission. Though I do want to hire this beefcake dude, Ivonsky. He's a badass. But we're gonna hire Valentine instead. I hoped adventure would involve a bit more gallons and treasures. I'm still quite able-bodied. Okay, so let's hire him. Perfect. Swashbuckling adventurer, here I come. I like that guy. He's pretty cool. I'm going to take him on his first mission right now. Let's take him down here. Okay. And then I'm going to trade out once again Seabrass. Since he is close proximity, I want to go ahead and get the longer ranged characters. And I think I did have a sniper rifle in my inventory, right? There we go, the blacksmith sniper. Although I can't move and shoot with it. Let me see how much that does. Okay. Three and four. Okay. So let's equip him with this. And then let's give him a grenade. And... A rusty heavy armor. I'll do that because he's not going to need to move that much. So I'm not too worried about losing speed on him. And let's take a look at his hats. A cap full of memories. Riding your bike along your paper route on the rusty and barren space rock. That was your childhood home. Ah, to be a paper bot again. Okay, interesting. So let's go ahead and start the mission. Countdown is activated. Fiddlesticks, the alarm countdown is already active. By the distinct tone, I can tell the turrets will pop out once it reaches zero. So we'll definitely need to watch out for that. I hate turrets. I'm gonna start up here. Then let me move Sally. I guess I'll put her here for now. And then I'm going to have Valentine take position behind this barrel, ready to snipe whatever is coming through this door. Okay, there's a big boy right here. Uh, let me see what I want to do. I think maybe this barrel will do damage on him, so let's try that out. Did two damage, it's not terrible. Now, this guy has a big shield, so if Sally opens the door, she actually won't be able to shoot him. So, let me come up and around behind Piper. And then Valentine. Unfortunately, he can't shoot through this little floor here, so... I don't know, maybe I can do a trick shot somehow? It's nice having the laser pointer. 
Okay, so I can maybe get the guy back there. There we go. Get him. And I'll worry about the beefcake a little later. Okay, so that's good. So now I can actually come behind him. Like so. And maybe make sure not to hit that floor. Okay. Then let's get Sally up in here. So she's going to be inspired. She's going to do a little bit of extra damage. So that went right through the floor. It couldn't bounce back. Oh well. Not that big of a deal. Let me see what I can do with this. There we go. I can get a shot off on his head. Perfect. So Piper, let me move Piper down here and then take a shot at him from behind. Maybe even get that barrel. Watch, that was so bad. I'm sorry about that, guys. Damn. I don't know if I'm being cross-eyed or what. But I really do need to finish him off here. There we go. Beautiful. Now, Valentine... I would like to position him... Here, for now. Actually, let me put him... Let me put him right here. And then for Piper... Let's get her over there. And Sally's gonna get all the swag. So we do have some mean little monsters here. So I can't shoot after moving, but I can't throw down a grenade. Let me see if I can... I'm not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna go ahead and position myself a little bit better. Let me go ahead and put myself right here. That is gonna be a problem. Okay, my little sniper guy is in big trouble. I need to rescue him somehow. Let me move Piper down here. And then we'll try to shoot this guy from behind. There we go. And Sally. Could really use her, but I'm gonna have her collect some swag instead. Now this guy, I definitely need to get him out of the way somehow. Although, I could be able to kill this guy. If I hit him, because I'll be able to do six damage. Oh, no. Right as I pressed A, he like took a breath and uh, screwed the shot up. That was really annoying. Okay. And Sally, we need to get her back immediately. Okay, now Valentine isn't doing the best. Let me see what I want to do. Um, I'm not going to be able to kill both of these. And if I move, I can't shoot. Tell you what, I might throw a grenade. I can't throw a grenade here from close range. So I could probably move over here. And then we can throw a grenade. And then I'll try to kill this guy. There we go. And I'll just have to take the hit here from this beefcake. Oh, but I am... I'm in big trouble. Got like one health left on him. That's not good. Move Sally here. Valentine, I'm just gonna... 
Gotta make sure he runs and gets away from this guy. Just don't want him to die. Now we have turrets activated. I'm not playing too well this round. Alright, so that was my armor, by the way, that kind of did three damage on him. But now we have all of these turrets to worry about. Let me make sure that we're doing this as safely as possible. So let me come up here, I guess. And then I will shoot this turret. There we go. And then Sally, let's move her all the way down here. And I'm going to be very careful with Valentine just to make sure he doesn't die. He took a beating from that beefcake. There are some turrets which I do need to worry about because they can do some like crazy trick shots. Mainly that one right above me. I want to make sure I am... I guess I'll stay right here. Make sure I'm under some thick ground. That way I don't get destroyed. Okay. So let's open the door up. Oh! That's okay with my um, kill shot thing. Should be able to kill this guy as well. I want to shoot the hat off and kill him. There we go. Should be able to get that crown because that'll be pretty sweet. Okay, Mr. Piper. Miss Piper. I keep calling him Mr. Piper. I keep calling her Mr. Piper. Damn it. Used to be a unisex robot so I don't get confused. Now, I don't know if I actually got that hat or not. Hopefully I did. Looks like I've gotten all the swag, though. So now we just need to make her escape. I hope I got that crown, dude. Doesn't look like I did. Damn it. So we got a scrapper sidearm. Adds a free action to shoot a projectile that deals three damage, two uses per mission. This thing's very useful. It's kind of like getting an extra shot almost, even though it does a little bit less damage. So we got the Frontier Thumper MK2. I think I already have that. Oh, it does have friendly fire though. I want to make a complaint about this wider type of explosion, said no one ever. Pretty funny. I do need to sell something because my inventory is full. Hmm. I guess I'll sell this. Because that's kind of useless. And what else can I sell? I don't think I'm going to be using this, even though it's a rare item. So I'll just continue along. Okay, so new ability, level 2 here. Increase the character's health by 1. Not bad. Valentine just gained a level as well. Focus. If sentries don't move before shooting, they deal plus one bonus damage. Does not work in melee. Alright, not bad. Let me talk to my crew here, see what's going on in their daily lives. If you've seen one tap room, you've seen them all. Gear. I can handle myself, you'll see. Then let's go see Valentine in his little room back here. 
You sure you're up for some high space adventure, Mr. Butterbolt? Well, Captain, the retirement home just wasn't for me, I guess. Stamp collecting is the most boring hobby imaginable. Too much like work. I really do prefer firing guns at the gun range. It's nice to have a useful hobby. Cool. So let's talk to Wonky and see if he has any ideas for us next. I've been thinking a bit about the past, Wonky. What if we've done what the Royalists wanted way back then? Just followed orders. That doesn't sound like something you would do, Captain. If we just completed that delivery and not stuck our noses where they didn't belong, we wouldn't be outlaws, but those poor steam bots would have had to endure the work camps instead. You're right as usual, Wonky. But what if we never found out that they wanted us to transport prisoners? You made the right call, Captain. I wouldn't have served under you this long if you hadn't helped them escape. Only goes to show that no good deed goes unpunished. Alright, so in the next episode, we're going to continue this adventure. Be sure to leave a like on this video. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.